Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert, here for Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores, Michigan and MrHardware.com and we're going to talk about flaring copper tubing. And flaring copper tubing is of the flare. The flare is either used when we're doing gas, which it would be natural gas, finding any plants in your house, so compression strictly for water or for non-hazardous materials, flare, hazardous materials, or things that vibrate. Flare nut. You put it over the copper tubing. You take, you put the copper tubing in a little flaring tool. You leave the copper tubing sticking up a skosh. Do you see this? It's about 330 seconds. You put the copper tubing in the flaring tool and it clamps it when we tighten these wing nuts. We've now secured the copper tubing in here. We did not forget to put the nut on first. We take a tool. It goes on. It's the little jaws here grab on to the clamp and we tighten her up so we get it so it's touching the copper. Now I tighten this baby up until this handle bottoms out. Gets hard, not too hard. We're not trying to kill anybody. We back it off, we take it off and now we're going to check to see if the flare is big enough. You want to know if the flare is going to encompass three quarters or more of the flare that it's going on. So as you can see this flare comes just about to the perimeter of the bevel on the face of the fitting you're going to put it to. Now one thing to remember about flaring, these threads on flares are not pipe threads. They're flare threads. They're unique. They're in their own world. They don't match anything else. When you have a flare you pretty much have to have a flare nut and a piece of copper tubing to go onto a flare. If you don't like using a flare, then you unscrew the, you get rid of the adapter. This is an adapter that goes from flare to iron pipe. Even though it's made out of brass, that's still called IP, iron pipe thread. So we can take this fitting out of wherever it was in. We can put a compression fitting in. Now, most of us think no compression. For those of you that have installed faucets in the old days, this is a shutoff that's underneath most sinks. It's called a compression because it uses a little ring that when you tighten it, the compression ring crimps onto the copper, makes a waterproof seal for the water line. Now this is great for water, compression is, but for gas it's not legal. This fitting, if I wiggle this, this could start to leak. The flare is either used when we're doing gas, which it would be natural gas, finding any plants in your house, any uh, propane, or flare is used on boats and trailers and things that vibrate. Because what happens, once a flare is installed, that truck, that trailer, that house, that dryer. Every time you're doing gas plumbing, you must have a flare. You can usually rent or borrow a flaring tool. But one thing I see in my hardware store quite a bit, amateurs that aren't being trained by proper people will use a compression fitting for a gas line. When that dryer wiggles as it's running and this starts to get a leak on it, you're going to accumulate gas until you potentially blow yourself up. So compression strictly for water or for non-hazardous materials, flare hazardous materials or things that vibrate.